Archaeologists are once again excavating caves along the cliff edge of the Dead Sea, more than half a century after one of the most treasured troves of ancient scrolls was discovered there. Some 20 kilometers from Jerusalem, it was in these caves that the Dead Sea scrolls were first found in the 1940s. The collection of ancient scrolls, some more than 2,000 years old, provides insight into Jewish society and religion before and after the time of Jesus. I'm Reuters' Renat Harash in the Qumran area near the Dead Sea. Archaeologists thought their work in the caves here was exhausted years ago, but now they've gone back in. Old treasures are popping up in the black market, suggesting there may be much more to find inside. Some even hope they may uncover gold from the ancient temple in Jerusalem. Now, some 60 years later, experts are once again chipping away. In the last few years, we uh, noticed that uh, new pieces of uh, scrolls and parchments arrived to the black market in uh, the old city of Jerusalem, Bethlehem and uh, Hebron. And we realized that uh, the Bedouin returned to the caves and started to, to dig again and to look for more uh, scrolls and parchments. So it drives us to, to return to the caves and uh, to be ahead of them, hopefully, this time. But finding more scrolls won't be easy. There are hundreds of these caves and no one knows which may house antiquities. This time archaeologists are searching higher up. At about 200 meters above the level of the Dead Sea, this cave is higher than where the scrolls were found, which may or may not have made it an ideal hiding place. Towards the back of the cave is a narrow burrow, packed with debris from centuries of wind and flash floods. When it's cleared, it could extend about 10 meters. Experts hope that they find lost antiquities in their original hiding place and not looted artifacts on the black market in Jerusalem's old city. The story of the Dead Sea Scrolls begins when Jerusalem looked like this. I'm at the Israel Museum scale model of the Holy City to meet scroll expert and curator Dr. Adolfo Reutemann. All right, let's talk about this incredible model here. I feel like Godzilla. <laughs> this is awesome. This is the Jerusalem of first century CE in time of the Romans. So we are kind of in the period of the Dead Sea Scrolls here. Exactly. They were discovered in a place called Qumran, located on the northwestern shore of the Dead Sea, about 30 miles from Jerusalem. OK. The first Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered by the end of 1946 and the beginning of 1947. Amazingly, they were discovered completely by accident. As the story goes, a young shepherd is herding goats in Qumran near the Dead Sea. Passing a cave, he throws a stone to scare a wayward animal back to the flock. And here's something shatter. Curious, he enters the cavern and discovers 10 clay jars, holding seven ancient scrolls. I'm Midi Panina Shore, an archaeologist at the Israel Antiquities Authority, home to the oldest known copy of the Ten Commandments. This is the only copy of the Ten Commandments that has survived intact 2,000 years old. Now, I have been to Qumran, where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. This is the first time I've ever actually seen the scrolls themselves. The Dead Sea Scrolls are the most complete ancient version of the Hebrew scriptures. They were found in 1947 in bone-dry caves at Qumran, near the Dead Sea. It's amazing that uh, whatever this is written on could survive that long.
It is one of the greatest archaeological discoveries in modern history. The Dead Sea Scrolls. In 1946, the remains of hundreds of ancient manuscripts were discovered hidden in a series of caves near the Dead Sea in Israel. These scrolls include copies of the Old Testament a thousand years older than any known before, plus untold prophecies not found in scripture that could rewrite the Bible as we know it. There's even a scroll inscribed on copper that some claim points to vast riches hidden in the desert. A number of questions surround the scrolls. Where did they come from? Who wrote them? What secrets do they hold? And are there more out there waiting to be found? Now, scientists are applying NASA technology to extract ancient messages from fragmented parchments. And archaeologists are exploring a once lost city where the scrolls may have been written and closing in on unexplored caverns that could contain new manuscripts. Join me on a quest to the Holy Land to fill in the blank pages of history and to unravel the many mysteries of the Dead Sea Scrolls.